I'm Adam, and today we're going to be looking at some posters to the upcoming hit film, Black Adam. I mean, I guess it's a little premature to say it's a hit, but it is Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. He doesn't usually miss when it comes to bringing in the box office, but it's also the job of a movie poster to bring people into the theaters. Let's see if they get the job done. If you enjoyed this commentary, please subscribe to the channel, Adam Does Movies. I do movie poster reactions every Monday now, so love to have you. First poster we're looking at today is an homage to the original comic book. We see Dwayne Johnson lounging on what I can only imagine is one of many thrones he has in his house. This poster is giving off big dick energy, but it doesn't go near as hard as the original. That version is taken from an even lower vantage point, where we can see Black Adam is truly a god amongst men, and we get to see the bodies of his victims surrounding him. They're nothing compared to his majesty. There's something proportionally a little off about this poster too. It's, I think it's the right leg. It just looks miniaturized compared to the rest of the body. And it's also the positioning of the camera. It's very stock, it's very straight on. There's nothing interesting going on there. Unlike the comic book where once again, you get that unique angle. It separates it from another humdrum poster where a character is just sitting in a throne. We have the tagline at the top, the time of heroes is over. Well, show me that. I just see a dude sitting in a chair. This isn't an unpleasant poster by any means. I like how it's drawing you into the central figure. The background's very subdued. You get some cool tire tread looking stuff on this concrete background. But what is it? What does it even mean? You gotta convince me that this is a movie I should run out and see. And this is 1000% saying Dwayne Johnson's in this, The Rock is here, come on out, and that's all. I'd say I'm right there with the general populace where we don't know who the hell Black Adam is. I did a quick research and the synopsis I'm getting is he's both a villain and a hero, typically on the evil side. He has magic powers, looks to be on par with like a Superman, but you know, on the, on the bad side of things. He's also been around the block a time or two. He's thousands of years old and believes he can run humanity better than anyone else. So this guy's got some character. I want to see that bleeding through the poster. I want that artwork to really speak to me on that level and say this is not a guy to be trifled with. Next poster up is a side profile of Black Adam with a nice little tagline. The world needed a hero. He got Black Adam. Pretty solid tagline. What does that mean? I'm looking at this poster. I see a very stoic character. The lights play nicely off the side of his profile. I, am I supposed to be sad that the world got Black Adam? Because I look at that and I think, yeah, that guy can get the job done. Uh, that's, that's the rock. He's going to get it done. I like the charred look of the suit. You have the lightning bolt going down. It's very charred. It's grisly. It's blackened. And then we see the logo, which I have to point out. I'm a big fan of this. A nice eroded sans serif font. And we're even playing off the A with a little visual, that lightning bolt. It's easy. It's, it's simplistic. It gets the job done. You plaster that on a t-shirt. You spackle it on a hat. It's a single color logo. It keeps the price down. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Let's move on. Here's our hero shot. Whole gang's here. It's hard to put a lot of people on a poster and make it look good. This is all right. It's colorful, I'll give it that. It's definitely the most poppy of all the posters so far. We got D-Money in the background looking pissed. Very ominous. Lightning bolts tying it all together, slicing straight through the poster. We have a rogues gallery of characters here. That girl looks like she's a Power Rangers reject. We got Hawkman. We have Pierce Brosnan just playing himself here. It's just Pierce Brosnan in the poster. And then there's some kid from CW in a bad costume. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I don't know these characters. Those are my best guesses. And then if we enhance and look down in the corner, there's a couple more just hanging out. Why? Why include them? We have yet another tagline. Three taglines for those counting so far. This one says, power born from rage. What does that even mean? What is this movie about? What the poster's conveying to me here is Black Adam is the villain, and the hero is this hot guy in the front. He is center stage, he's right above the logo. Uh, I don't think that's probably how it's supposed to be, but that's what I'm getting from the message. The poster designer had a lot of fun with little lens flares. You can see them all over the place. They're popping off of Brosnan, got some off the helmet. And my favorite is the lightning that's acting more like water. It's trickling off the bracelet of Harvey Birdman. Overall, I haven't been wowed by a single poster. I'm also not upset. They're just, they're just very generic. And I'm kind of worried that's what this movie's gonna be. Let's do one more set. Last up, we're gonna talk briefly about the character posters. I don't like these. I don't like the new trend going around where we put the character not just slightly off, but way off. 
so that their eyes are cut or half of their face is out of frame. That's not interesting. That's not creative. His eyes are almost off of the frame. He's like, help, help me, somebody. The real villain in Black Adam is the poster frame itself. Why? Why is this a thing? Why is he so far off to the side? His eyes half cut off. This isn't fun. This isn't interesting or engaging. It's like, I'm hiding. Can, can they see me? Can they see me when I'm over here? I'm mysterious. This is stupid. This Cyclone poster is kind of good. Move her ass over. You have a pretty actress. You got a cool suit that goes well with the logo below that's glowing like it's from Secret of the Use, second Ninja Turtles film. But why is she pressed? Why is she pushed against the side of the frame? Hawkman's the only guy focused up and this is the worst poster by far. Wow, is that ugly to look at. Th nothing, nothing pleasing here. Even the font, the Black Adam is just this really gross reddish gray. I, I don't like anything about this. We gotta be done. Well, there you have it. A series of Black Adam posters that are neither great nor bad. They're just there. Hopefully they're not a reflection of the final product and this movie really does surprise me because going in I'm thinking, eh, I don't, I don't care much about this. Let me know what you think though. Are you excited for this movie? How are these posters making you feel? You amped up? You pumped? Leave a comment below. Like the video if you had a good time and once again, Think about subscribing to the channel as I post not only movie poster reactions on Mondays, I also do movie reviews, tier lists, skits, reactions. There's a lot going on in the movie space here. I'd love to have you join me. With that said, White Adam, out. Thanks for sticking around. I'm on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. You get access to 300 exclusive videos. The same goes for YouTube join members. There's a Discord you can join. I'm on Twitch at Adam Does Movies. I'm on TikTok at Adam Does Movies. There's a merch store. I'm all over the place. And yet, I'm really nowhere at the same time. It's, it's impressive. <laughs>